Well, hello, lovely friends. So today I am super excited to share with you how I am tackling a massive whole house clean in just three days. It's a long one, so it's broken up into part one and part two. I'm feeling motivated, but also a little overwhelmed. So I thought I would share with you guys so I can make myself accountable and maybe even inspire some of you to join me. So what's my game plan? I'm going to try and at least tidy every room in my house. I'm going to start with the toughest room first, which is the kitchen. Then to give myself an easier task, I'll move on into my middle child's uh, room. His room's actually not too bad, or so I thought. I will be sharing updates and progress throughout the video. Make sure to stick around until the end where I will introduce you to a secret we have been keeping from the boys. Okay, so we are starting with the kitchen. A few years ago, I started watching a creator who I'm sure you all know. And if you don't, you need to know her. Uh, she is called This Crazy Life. Her name is Amanda. And she talks about having a domino chore. This is a, a task or a starting point that you can do that is easy, that will start a domino effect. So an example, for most people, making your bed helps you feel accomplished and encourages you to move on to the next task. Uh, my domino chore changes often. But at the moment, as I'm sure most of you who have noticed, it's my kitchen. Now, normally I'm on top of keeping it tidy, but with the boys and husband home, you can clearly see it's pretty messy and I'm overwhelmed. I knew I just needed to get started. If there's one bit of advice I want you to take away from today's video, it is to just get started. I recently read that cleaning is not just about tidying up, it's about creating a space that reflects your inner peace.
you may notice that I'm cleaning the sink twice. The reason for this is first I'm cleaning the sink with dish soap, getting rid of the stuck on muck and the visible dirt. Then I'm going in with a disinfectant. Soap alone cannot kill viruses or bacteria. Basically, cleaning is about making the surfaces look clean and disinfecting is about making the surfaces actually clean by killing the germs. So when is a good time to use these methods? Dish soap or even kitchen spray is good to use every day. Disinfecting always when you've handled raw meat, had a sickness bug or just need a deeper clean. Remember to read the bottle because a lot of disinfectants need a certain amount of time to sit before you wipe it off. I want to be the person who does this every day, but who am I kidding? I'm lucky if I do this once a week. To make my sink shine, I will dry away um, any potential water streaks. You can use just a normal dish towel as long as it's dry or just a normal cloth. If I want to be extra, I will go in with my favorite glass cleaner um, and then buff it out. So now I've moved on to cleaning the cooker top. I'm going to be using the same uh, dental disinfecting spray. I'm going to let it sit and then clean it down with some kitchen roll. My cooker is really greasy, like way more than the usual because my husband is using it more. Unfortunately, his standards are very much on the same level as the kids. I'm going to finish up in the kitchen by sweeping the floor. Uh, I'm crunching every step I take. So I'm not surprised with how quickly I filled the dustpan. Can't see clear through the smoke you created. I feel my feet on the ground and they're shaking. How am I supposed to say?
Okay, so now I'm done in here. I'm actually going to head into my youngest's room. I think I may have said my middle son's room earlier, but my bad. I believed it was going to be an easy task because I'd not long deep cleaned it. But boy, did I underestimate a preteen gamer's bedroom. I am fully aware to most people this room seems, well, tidy. And I 100% agree with you. He's very tidy, but clean he is not. There are marks and fingerprints all over his TV and desk. Does he know how to clean them off himself? Yes, but only when I point out to him that they even exist. You see, all the boys, husband included, want a tidy, ordered home, but don't see the dirt, whereas I see it all. I'm going to start by stripping off and remaking his bed, giving his room a good wipe down, emptying his bin, and finishing with a good hoover. I wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure, uh-oh mm. I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not It feels just like I'm lying to you I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life I know I'm wasting time Cause I just wanna call my friends and see what they're doing tonight It doesn't have to be so special I try to be myself, you do the same and we'll be alright Start a conversation with someone Just be who I am, I care so much about first impressions Cause I got a feeling that it could be great Skip all the acts, not playing games Maybe ripping and daring me and tell you my name Yeah, I got a feeling that it could be great Skip all the acts, not playing games No more consent and daring me, I won't be ashamed Cause I just wanna call So I'm using Flash French soap, I think. Normally I use Flash Bicarb. Um, but anything really will do to wipe his room down. I have mentioned before that if you're going to use products on your TV, always make sure it's safe to do so. I am a risk taker, I'm not going to lie. Um, this is an older style TV, so spraying this product on there actually does a really good job uh, but it's their type of screen where it it doesn't it doesn't really make a difference. So guys, do as I say, not as I do. I think the saying is always check, even if it's just a small little tiny bit in the corner, because you just never know. <laughs> Above the center of attention, but I'm not. I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure. Uh oh. Cause I just wanna go.
Okay, so let's get into my highs and lows to the week. My lows, honestly, you, you couldn't make this up. It seems like we've entered a week of just everything going wrong with somebody. So, for example, I have one son who's really hurt his foot. He was doing a summer sport camp and he jumped on the bouncy castle wrong. And he, I, I guess he's pulled a muscle in the bottom of his foot. Um, at, t- at the time of doing this voiceover, it, it's all better. But he could barely walk and he was supposed to do football training that night and obviously couldn't. Uh, and then the another child had hurt his back. I think he had slept funny, so he had a sore back. I managed to ping something in the bottom of my back. And I have a child who is currently feeling sick and looks grey. So health in this house this week has been uh, interesting. The weather in the UK has taken a turn. We have had wind and rain for the last few days. So I guess it's time to say goodbye to summer, which those of you that know me personally know that I act my season, the season that I absolutely love is autumn. I love fall. I love everything. I love the changing colors of the trees. I love the cooler weather. I just love it. How many times can I say love? But what I do hate is rain. I don't mind drizzle, but rain. I just, no thank you. Okay, so now it's day two. I am starting out in my bedroom. My bedding needs a a desperate wash, so I'm going to strip that off and remake it. I'm pretty much going to do the same as I did yesterday in my youngest room, give everything a good wipe over. Um, What else am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm emptying the bin and I'm hoovering. I have a couple of questions for you guys uh, in relation to the videos that I'm uploading. I just wondered whether you care for the music that I'm sharing. Obviously, I'm just going to be using music that I like, that I think everybody likes, but we're all different. So I wondered what your opinion was on it. I have I have very thick skin and I am not easily offended. Uh, so if you don't care for it, let me know. Let me know what genre you like. Do you like more upbeat? Do you like more relaxed? Would you like less music in my videos? Would you like more music? So leave me a comment and Obviously, I can't please everybody. I'm fully aware of that. But you guys are my friends and I want you to enjoy hanging out with me throughout the whole of my video.
So I have waited until the end of the video to share with you my high point of the week because my high point comes with a video clip at the end. So drum roll please. What is the surprise that we have been keeping from the boys? You've probably already guessed. We bought a kitten. Yes, a kitten. He is absolutely loved. The boys are besotted with him. We are besotted with him. So what I am doing is prepping the room quickly to have him come stay in here for the first few weeks because obviously we've got a dog and we need to introduce them slowly. So here he is. Everybody meet Stan. Mm. He is absolutely gorgeous. He is funny. He is so loving. So guys, it's time for me to say goodbye to you all. I hope you have an absolute fantastic week and weekend. Be sure to check in next week where there will be a part two to my crazy cleaning frenzy. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button just so I know that you've enjoyed it. And if you want to come and join my YouTube journey, I would love to have you subscribe. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic week.